morning everyone. In today's webinar, we will see a quick review of Jaltest AGV, watching in detail our specific model for agricultural vehicles and checking the most relevant features this tool is able to offer us. So this is how the main menu looks like. You can see we can connect to not only tractors, but also all kind of harvesters, swathers, and all the self-propelled and trailing implements. So let's connect to a tractor. 50 brands are covered in Yaltest. Here on the right I have those brands I've selected as my favorites. And we have the option to search by family, by model name, or by system. We have New Holland, Kubota. So let's connect to a John Deere for instance. Once we choose the model, we will see all the electronic systems present in our tractor. The best way to have a full perspective of our tractor is by clicking on all system scan. But first, if you don't find a place to hook up your connector, we will show you how to do it. Okay, so now we are ready to scan our tractor. Jaltus Solver is now detecting all the electronic systems present in our tractor. Everything is interrelated within the program and it's important to know that the technical information is embedded in the system. This all system scan option detects all of the brands, models and systems of your vehicle and it will be a really quick process, even faster than some of the OEMs. Once it's finished, we will see not only the engine, transmission or hydraulics, but also the radio, GPS or even the air conditioning, if it's electronic, of course. On the left, we can see some of the menus that we will access in a minute, such as the wiring diagrams or maintenance data to make sure our tractor is in good shape or the technical data to see the tightening torques um, troubleshooting by symptoms, very useful to have this step-by-step -step guide to fix the symptoms we have. And finally, we have releases and procedures. There are technical releases that we can print, screenshot or read on the screen. Okay, now our system scan is completed. We have detected 26 systems. So, if I collapse, we can see all of the systems, okay? Let's connect to, uh, to the engine, for instance. Okay, this is the main menu, uh, the diagnostic menu for our engine, okay? So, if I click on the fault codes, if they are in red, it means these fault codes are active in our electronic control unit. Then we can see the original manufacturer fault code, the number of times it happened in our tractor, and then a brief description of our fault code. If I click on the I, we will see freeze frame data, which is very useful. We also have the component related to this fault code. In this case, is the temperature sensor. Okay, if I click here, we will see a picture of our where our in the location of our component, some of the resistance values, the pinout, etc. And also, just by one click, we will have access to the wiring diagrams. As simple as that. Okay. Now, we are accessing the wiring diagrams. Okay. Here is the damage sensor of the fault code we had. It's highlighted in a different color. And you can see how it's connected to the electronic control unit. If I click in the middle, we will see our electronic control unit, how it looks like, 
power supply, the pinout. So if you need to replace a component, you will see all of the information you need. We also have this search bar to make it easier. Okay. So let's go back to our diagnostic menu. Okay. Jaltus is much more than a full code reader. And one of the reasons is this the troubleshooting by full code. So you will see not only the full code, but also a way to fix that. The troubleshooting by full code is a step by step guide that will guide us through the process to fix that full code just following the steps and performing the actions we are required to. Okay, so we can expand all these steps, collapse them, make it bigger, or reduce the size. And once we are following these steps, we just put in green to know if we were able to process to perform this action. Okay. So this is our diagnostic menu. We just saw the fault codes. After we fix those fault codes following the troubleshooting guides, we can clear them. Okay. So let's see some of the actions that we can perform in this engine. Okay. We have, first of all, we can see some of the components we can activate, such as the EGR valve or the fuel feed pump. Then we have some system checks. Okay, we have the compression test, cylinder cutout. Okay, let's click for example in the cylinder cutout. In every action, we will have a description of the process. I mean, in every action of Jaltus, we will have the same structure. First, a description of the process. Then the initial conditions we need to meet. This is very important to being able to perform a calibration or whatever we're whatever we are doing in our tractor. And after those conditions, if we meet them, we will have the action itself. In this case, it's a cylinder cutout, okay? Very interesting to see the graph. Okay, this is just an example. Okay. Then in monitoring, we can display the system with uh, live data. First, we will see the fuel system, okay? As you can see, it's very user-friendly to use the software, to go through the menu. In this case here, we have the after treatment module, okay? And then we can choose our measures, okay? For instance, imagine I want to check some of the pressure. Once that we select more than one measure, we can grab them, okay? Make it bigger, smaller, and then we can watch it as an interactive view as well. And create our own group. If we are always checking the same measurements, it's very useful to save time. And it doesn't matter we disconnect from the electronic control unit, Next time, it will be there, your customized group. Okay, we have parameters, the injector exchange, injector coding, because it's very important to, to change the part, but afterwards to codify them, this injector to make it work. And with Jaltest, you can do it. Of course, in maintenance, you can do our region, okay? For uh, John Deere, we have two regenerations. One is in is running under service mode. It's going to be a little bit longer, you know, three hours. And then we have the calibration. And finally, we have data recorder. This is very useful for on road test, choosing up to 24 measurements, and then is going to be recording up to 30 minutes. Afterwards, if we want to check the recording, it will be here in preferences in data player. 
and it will be just like a YouTube video. Okay. So once we have seen the diagnostics menu for this engine, let's see what we have on the left. First, we will see the system technical data, which is um, basically related with all of the components of our engine in this John Deere. Okay, and we will have uh, pictures, our components, uh, different resistance values, voltages, etc. Then we have the diagrams that we just saw before when we were checking the fault code. Okay. You can see everything is embedded in the system, so we can access the wiring diagrams from uh, different menus to make it faster. Then in maintenance data, we choose our engine type. And we will have some of the most common uh, maintenance services that we need to perform in our tractor. Okay. So for example, for an interval of time of 1250 hours this is what we need to do okay we can add comments and we can create our reports not just diagnostic reports but also maintenance reports imagine you have a client here you can put your logo customize it as you want everything is in here so let's see what we have then in technical data okay for this option we will require to have internet connection okay but a hotspot a cell phone working as a hotspot is more than enough to make it work if you have Wi-Fi it's perfect okay technical data imagine you want to check the tightening torques of the cylinder head you will see exactly how to do it the order and also the stages okay There is a bunch of information here in technical data. We have the engine distribution and then troubleshooting by symptoms. Sometimes we have a fault code, sometimes not, sometimes we only have a symptom or maybe we have both. But the important thing is that if we have a symptom, we just need to come here okay, and search our symptom, for, for instance, we have a loss of engine power in our tractor and when we click on it and we will see um, and a step-by-step -step guide we just need to follow all these steps this step-by-step -step guide to fix that specific symptom okay and this is the way to do it so it's very easy with Yantis no matter you have a symptom or a fault code here you can fix that Okay, if I disconnect from this system, okay, we have these other menus, main system scan of the uh, of the engine transmission or hydraulics, basically. Then some special functions or cats. If we know exactly what to do to our um, tractor, okay, such as the compression test, so it saves us some time then some maintenance resets and finally manual diagnostics so imagine a, the client is not with a tool and they tell you for instance a fault code you will be able to see what that fault code is about without being connected to the tractor okay so I just search for this specific fault code and here I can see what it's about okay I can see more information the oil pressure sensor so I can tell my client what's going on here and I also have the troubleshooting by fault code in this case okay so okay I'm gonna disconnect from this tractor So once we have seen an overview of this uh, model, let's see other important menus in Jaltest. Okay, one of them is the GRP. 
this is included in the software for free and it will allow us to have a full control of our shop okay first of all in terms of reports here in this model is where everything is saved our diagnostic reports and our maintenance reports okay so no matter if we forget which specific maintenance we did to a tractor we will have access here okay very interesting then we have the vehicle list we can import an excel a pdf and our list of customers okay so this model is very powerful and it's included in the software okay other important menus Delta's feedback of course you know that every three every four months we have an update three updates per year with in, which includes new systems new functionalities new models that are appearing in the market so one of the best ways we improve our software is by knowing why you what you guys think so your comments are taken into account very seriously to improve our software so if you ask for a specific make model or system let us know and in our engineer department we will work side by side to develop for the next updates what you request okay very important for us Delta's feedback then remote assistance our customer support is available from 8 30 a.m to 7 p.m eastern time and we are even able to remote into your laptop and guide you through the process if you have any kind of issue okay here you have our contact details and here finally Yaltest videos okay we are including a bunch of new vlogs and webinars to help you be the best technici technician okay You can check all of these videos in our YouTube channel as well. So this has been everything today. Thank you very much for being there and see you next time guys.